discovered how to find the upper and lower bounds in an earlier video. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate with bounds. When the limits of accuracy are combined, we have to really carefully consider whether to use the upper or lower bounds. You're probably wondering what on earth am I on about? So let's just jump straight in with an example. A football pitch is 110 by 70 meters, both measured to the nearest 10 meters. What are the upper and lower bounds of the area? Well, this question isn't too tricky. For the upper bound of the area, we need to multiply the upper bounds of both dimensions. And the lower bound of the area, we multiply the lower bounds of both measurements. But what about when we're dividing? For the upper bound, we want A divided by B to be as big as possible. So we want A to be big, which is then divided by the smallest possible B. So A must be its upper bound and B must be its lower bound. Your turn now, find the lower bound. Pause the video, work out the answer and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? So here are some questions for you to do. Pause the video, answer the questions and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? So there we have bounds. Just make sure you take your time to think about what the calculation is asking for and you'll have no problems. Make sure you show all of your working.